A product is a rate plan associated with a particular level of service, for example wholesale or premium. Every customer and vendor in the system needs to have at least one product with rates to make routing and billing work for it. Every product is linked to an account and that account defines the currency of all rates in the product. So that means that if you need to support rates in several currencies when dealing with a particular partner, you will need to create several products, each linked to an account in the correct currency. You can give a name to every product in the system. There is no limitation in terms of the words that you can use here, but we recommend that you stick to a system because in some parts of the system, for example in the routing rules, it is possible to refer to groups of customers or vendors having the same product name as groups of companies rather than individual companies enumerated one by one. So that's not going to be convenient for your staff members to deal with product name lists containing several dozen entries. For customer products, it is possible to stipulate the so-called parent product. It is very convenient to have parent products in case you need to share one and the same rate plan among, a, among several customers. For example, you have 30 premium customers sharing one and the same rate plan with some minor per customer exceptions. In that case, you can create that product just once for a special carrier called System Owner. This is a virtual carrier, a reflection of your own company inside your own billing system. You can import the rates you want to share to that product of the system owner. And then, when it comes to creation of products for real customers, instead of re-importing rates over and over again for each of them, you can just mention that system owner's product as the parent entity. And that will establish a link between the customer product and the parent product. That is also convenient when you need to change a rate for all of these customers because changing a rate in the system owner's product will automatically change that rate for each of the customers. It is also possible to define on the per customer product level whether or not you want to deep an external HLR home location registry in order to get the precisely correct MCC MLC information for traffic going from that customer product. Please note that an external HLR service needs to be previously configured by our support people before you can use this feature in the product interface. The invoice group index defines whether or not charges for different products belonging to one and the same customer will be joined under one invoice or split into separate invoices. That depends on the value of the invoice group index parameter you assign to different products of the same customer. For example, if you have a premium and a wholesale product belonging to the same carrier, and if the invoice group index is set to the same value, for example, 0 or 1, the charges for both products will be included into one invoice. And if you send different values to this parameter of these two products, each of them will go separately on a separate invoice. It is also possible to go directly to the rate editor from the products interface when you click on the open product rates in the rate editor button the system shows you all rates included into the selected product in the rate editor interface